Hey there, I'm Fabian and today I'm going to show you how you can easily scrape some basic data from Internet Movie Database of any movie that you want by using Node.js with Puppeteer. Firstly, if you don't know what Puppeteer is, Puppeteer is a Node.js library that basically connects the Node.js code with the Chrome or Chromium browser and lets you control it over an API. If you've never heard of it or you want to get more details about it, go to this page, which is the official website with all the documentation on Puppeteer. So let's get started and let me show you how easy it is to use it to our advantage and to start scraping some data. So what I'm going to do right now is actually go to imdb.com and search for a movie. I'm going to say Shaw's Hank Redemption and I'm going to pick this one just for testing and I'm going to copy its URL and I'm going to put it to the side for the moment. And right now what I want to do is basically create a new variable that holds that URL and I'm going to say movie URL and I'm going to input this URL. Right now that we have this saved, I want to start messing around with the Puppeteer library. So I'm going to initialize the browser by saying let browser and I will await for Puppeteer and I'm going to say launch. This is basically going to launch the browser and have it ready for us. And then with the browser set, I want to open up a new page. And I'm going to do this by saying let page equals await browser dot new page. Pretty simple. Right now we have the page variable that will handle everything that we want within that page. And because we set the movie URL, I'm going to say that I want to go to that specific URL. And I'm going to do that by basically saying await page.go to and I'm going to input the movie URL. Right now, if we run this code, it's basically going to open up a browser, open a new tab and go to this movie URL. Before we try this code, I want to go back to this URL and let's start to actually write the query selectors in order to get the title, the rating and the rating count just for the beginning. So I'm going to right click and inspect on the title. It's going to open up the dev tools and I'm going to click here for the console just so that we can write code directly in it. And with the help of the CSS query selectors, we can get this div by the title wrapper class and then get the h1 inside of it, which is actually the title of the movie. And we can easily try this by writing some vanilla JavaScript right here, document.querySelector, and I'm going to say that I want the div, which has the class equal to title underscore wrapper, and then I want to get the direct child, which is a h1, and I'm going to close this, and I'm going to say inner text. And if I hit enter, it returns the exact title of the movie. Right now, let's also get the rating of the movie, which is 9.3. I'm going to right click again and inspect. And I'm going to inspect this HTML, see what we can latch onto. And if I see pretty clearly right here, I think we can use this span with item prop equals to rating value. Let's see if it actually works without latching onto any other elements of the page like we did with the title. And I'm going to basically hit up on the keyboard to bring back what we wrote before. And instead of saying div class title wrapper, I'm going to replace this with span item prop equal rating value. And then I'm basically going to hit enter and as we can see, it works 9.3. Good. Let's also get the rating count, which is this 2 million right here. I'm going to again inspect on it and see where it is. And again, we have a span with the class of small and with the item prop of rating count. Hit up on the keyboard, bring back the previous query selector. And instead of saying rating value, I'm going to put here rating count count. And if I'm going to hit enter, it's basically going to give us the exact number that we want.
So for these three query selectors, we can use them with Puppeteer inside of our code. Let's hop back in the editor and let me show you how you can actually do this with the Puppeteer browser. So after going to the movie URL, I want to also give it another option to this function and I'm going to specify this by basically saying wait until and then I'm going to put in a string which is network idle to. This is basically going to tell the browser that the navigation is finished when there are no more than two network connections for at least half of a second. So this basically helps us to make sure that everything has loaded before we actually start scraping things. I'm right now going to say await page.evaluate and this function basically allows you to evaluate anything that is on the current page that you're at. So it's basically like saying run this code inside of the console just like we did with our dev tools. So by using this I'm basically going to run this code, those query selectors that we wrote and then send them back from the browser to an actual variable. Let's continue by opening up a new function and then specifying what we need inside of it. So right here I'm basically going to copy this part that relates to the title of the movie and I'm going to say let title equal and paste this right here. I'm going to do the same for the rating count and also the rating value which is this. Let rating and paste it right here and also the rating count paste it right here. Rating count equal and this is basically it. Right now we need to return it and I'm going to open up a new object which is going to return the title, the rating and the rating count. And because we're returning an object we want to save them in a variable and I'm going to say let data equal and that's basically it. If we run this code and we console.log data we would get everything that we got right here. So let's test this out and see how it goes. But before running I also want to say await and I want to close this browser. So I'm going to say browser.close and right before this I want to set a simple debugger just so that we can inspect the data. So I'm going to save this and go to the debugger and start running it. And right now it's stopped in the debugger and we also have the console logged right here. And if we expand on it, we can clearly see the rating 9.3, the rating count 2 million, and the actual title, which I know is different, but it's because I'm in Romania and this browser is basically returning the Romanian version of the title. So I'm going to continue and let the browser close. And just for the sake of it, I want to show you another movie Let's take The Godfather for example. I will just copy the title and bring it to our editor and replace the movie URL. And then basically run it again. It's going to load up the browser, open up the movie and then console logging what we need. Rating 9.2, rating count 1 million and the title again it's specific to Romania. And if I continue this, it will close and I'm going to remove the debugger and then basically you have a working simple scrapper that I created within 10 minutes. And also I want to show you a quick trick so that you can visually see what's happening in the browser. I'm going to specify right here an extra option which is going to be headless and we are going to set it to false. So this is going to tell the browser to run just like a normal browser would so that we can see what happens. And if we run this again, you should see the actual browser. And yes, you see that it went to the actual movie page and then it closed after we got the details. Pretty cool. This was a very simple example and demonstration on how you can make use of Puppeteer to scrape data easy and fast. I have also written a blog post about this with a little bit more details about what I used, how I got everything set up with a bit more insight. I will leave the link to the blog post in the description if you want to read it.
Also, I have launched a cool Udemy course on web scraping with Node.js for beginners, showing multiple ways of doing scraping with normal requests, with Puppeteer, and much more details on the subject. So if you feel like you like this and you want to get ahead quickly, then you should check it out. We'll give the link to the actual course in the description. You're in for a development treat if you check that out. Thank you for watching this short video on web scraping. I will surely do more on this channel, so have a great day.